the, we haven't found any other Pleistocene animals. No bison, no mammoth, no all sloth, with the exception of turtle, uh, one frog finger, part of a frog toe bone. We have a scapula from the animal that's the size of a roof rat. It's not a roof rat, obviously, it's a, probably neotoma, but I can't match that perfectly either. And then we have part of a rodent uh, humor, something on Get out of there. I think they may be in the water. Yeah. Funnel cake? Yeah. Bread and taco. Oh, yeah. Funnel cake? That's what it is? Yeah, yeah pretty much. Funnel cake? I don't know. It would be my best analogy of what it was. What about um, fried candy bars, huh? We're quizzing. Where the country has fried candy bars? Well, well, we can get ready for your... I've seen that. That's that's we're not sure. sure. I, mean, I haven't tried that. That's, 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 that's much larger. I've heard that. 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 I've heard so this one was laying like that, and this one was laying the same way. And then this one's laying sideways. See, it's getting there. Okay. See what we were after. We're talking about one. I'd call it a little bit more flash. Is there any other bones there in the site you were at? Um, in here, just, we just took out chunks. We didn't take out anything else, like... We that we knew what it was. Uh, yeah, this and you can, can see this is the end of the humerus oh, right there. That trial, right? So that yeah, bone comes yeah, down yeah. to there. That, and then this tooth. And then there's that tooth. And then this big conglomeration of stuff. And that's all. Didn't bug that out. You got something for the other side? Okay. No. Now, why don't you all take turns dipping and wrapping? Uh, okay, what do I do now? Around the outer edge. Yeah, around the outer edge. I don't know. That's lots of stuff. So you want to, you want okay. to make sure it gets tucked under the bottom here. Okay. I ordinarily try to wrap something up like this. Okay. Then I bring it around like so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why don't you bring it up, up on top. Why don't you put it making the sure it gets like, tucked under the bottom. Okay. Dig around and make sure you don't find anything else. If you don't find anything else, you Okay. Yeah, it'll be fine. Right. It'll start setting up, and at the end, you can just put gobs of it yeah, on. Yeah, we can put gobs on. That's the thing is, if you get it too thick, the one way to do it working this, you just back in the lab, you grab an ear on the burlap and pull it off, rather than try to cut it. Yeah. So much. You want to like rub it along as you're going, so you get it really tight on. You can start way up in here. Right under the jacket. Is it a break? So we'll just leave yeah, that yeah, in right here. Yeah. That's a pretty pretty good fragment. Yeah. And we can probably get this out actually yeah. so you have a piece of that out. I'm gonna go and get it. Okay, so we're just not here in the Yeah, I mean, yeah. we yeah. don't have to dig under anymore because we're okay. Perfect. Oh. Perfect. And there's more. Yeah. So wait, there's wow. just something else. Oh, it's just that end. You said you, you kept those chunks. Perfect. And there's more right down here. Sure. That's it. It's, it's huge. 
Township and turn it. I read the stop where this one starts. Okay. Is the job stuff going to the right. Okay. So we've got a little ways to go down. Yeah. Take this out in here. Yep. Yeah. 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 Whole area and that my my the inclination way? is to say, let's take where it's dry. Because we know that the sloth is this way. And we'll work with this mucky stuff after it dries out. I mean, it's going to be windy later today and it'll dry out. And we'll just use this as kind of a berm. Yeah. Uh, 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 u